there are 18 members of James Gunn's Suicide Squad, and that's probably 13 too many. So I've made a list of the villains who will live, who maybe could live or die, and who will die. These are, of course, my predictions for the film, but I'd love to hear your opinions on my choices and your picks in the comments down below. Before that, guys, hit that like button because liking these videos lets me know that you love them. And hit that subscribe notification bell so you miss any videos just like this one. Let's get to the list. So how am I determining who will live and who will die? So in my determination of who I think who will live, who will die, and who could be a possible wild card, I look at the character's history in the comics and in other media, including animated movies. I also have the actors who play them and what other projects a character or actor could be a part of. I take all those things into account and make a final decision. Before we dive into our list of who will live, who will die, and who the wild cards are, let's go over the roster of characters from the Suicide Squad. Our roster of characters include Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, Rick Flagg, The Thinker, Captain Boomerang, Blackguard, Savant, TDK, Ratcatcher 2, King Shark, Weasel, Mongol, Solsoria, Polka Dot Man, and Javelin. Now that we have our list of characters, let's go through and eliminate the characters who will be lucky enough to escape this mission and make it alive without Amanda Waller blowing up their head. First up to survive is Harley Quinn. Now I think this is pretty much a given and I'm sure a lot of people already know that they're not going to kill her off. She's one of the most popular DC characters currently in the DCU and in comics, etc. I think she still has her own comic going. She just finished her second season of her animated TV show, hopefully renewed for a third season. And she's going to be in an upcoming video game of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So Harley Quinn ain't going anywhere. Second to survive is Captain Boomerang. Now he wasn't the first Suicide Squad and I like Jake Courtney's character. I think we also have not seen him very much interact with the Flash just yet and he is a flash you know remember the rogues gallery so i think it'll be interesting to see if he actually pops up maybe in the tv show if he hasn't already but possibly in the dcu either in the first movie or maybe if there's a flash sequel in the future but he's also going to be in the suicide squad kill a justice league game as well so i don't think he's going anywhere third to survive is blood sport now i really don't think they're going to kill off idris elba because well he's idris elba and uh yeah he's kind of the eye candy of the movie so i really think that fans would be kind of disheartened if idris elba dies if he does happen to die i don't think he will but if he does happen to die i don't think it's going to be by amanda waller it'll be in the mission or he sacrifices himself or something but i don't think he will next to survive is peacemaker now i think the only reason why peacemaker is going to live is because it's played by john cena and i think he brings a lot of other fan base to this you know group he is a popular wrestler with the wwe he has a strong fan base and i just don't think they're going to kill him off i think he's probably one of the characters that they probably should because that's just kind of ironic that you have you know character kind of resembling captain america but i don't think they're going to kill him off only for that reason that it's john cena and the last person i think will survive is going to be rick flag and that's only because he's basically amanda waller's right hand in this mission and is taking all the orders so i don't see why they'd kill him off if he does happen to die it's only because of something that happens to him during the mission itself, not by Amanda Waller's hand. So we have our list of characters who I think will survive to the end of the movie. But before we get to our list of people who are going to die, let's talk about the wild cards. And a wild card is a person who I think could live or die. The first wild card is Ratcatcher 2. Given the recent reports that state that Taika Waititi is set to play the first Ratcatcher, I think it's possible that Ratcatcher 2 will survive. I don't see James Gunn giving us two generations of the same character in the same movie just to kill the newer one off. But they're also a lesser known character, which makes it pretty easy for them just to get rid of. So you never know. The second wild card is King Shark. In the 2014 animated film Batman Assault on Arkham, King Shark is killed by the bomb that Waller put in his neck after the Riddler attempts to disable the bombs for the Suicide Squad. But he is also in the upcoming Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League video game. So will they kill a character that fans could get excited about for the video game? We'll have to find out. Next up is Solsoria or Solsoria. She's a lesser known character and while, I, and while I think she'll make it far along in the movie, I think it's possible that she'll be grouped with Rick Flagg since they both rely on guns and other weapons instead of metahuman powers. And I think she possibly could die because of that but we'll have to wait and see. And the final wild card I have on my list is Polka Dot Man. While he's killed by a Batman copycat who takes over the group and decides to get rid of the useless members of the Suicide Squad in the Injustice 2 comic book series, I think Polka Dot Man might live given his uniqueness as a character. We haven't seen much of him in live action yet, but I think there's a strong possibility that we'll get to see him in much more of the film. All right, so we have a list of who will live, our maybes, and now it's time to go over a list of who will die in the Suicide Squad. Let's start with some quickies. Javelin, TDK, and Blackguard. I think that Javelin is an easy one to kill off. While I'm sure he's had some villainous run-ins with some heroes, I think he's a filler character and will not make it past the first 30 minutes. Same goes for TDK, otherwise known as the Detachable Kid. This villain detaches his arms and beats people with it. Ironically enough, if he doesn't have his arms, he is useless. And if someone gets his arms, they can easily beat him with them. I hate this though because the character is played by Nathan Fillion, and I love Nathan Fillion. But hey, at least he'll be in it just for a little bit. Then there's Blackguard, played by Pete Davidson. If this isn't an obvious character who will not make it very far in the 
movie? I don't know what to tell you. I could be wrong, and this could be James Gunn giving Pete an opportunity to shine, but I don't think that's the case. Moving on to the other four characters that are left, Savant, Weasel, The Thinker, and Mongol. While they were both in the Guardians of the Galaxy with James Gunn, I think that Michael Rooker's Savant and Sean Gunn's Weasel will get a good amount of screen time before they're ultimately killed off. Honestly, I feel like based off the costumes alone for Savant with those Terminator-looking sunglasses and the awful long hair, he should be killed off immediately. I think Weasel is like the anti-Rocket Raccoon and maybe fun and interesting to have around if it just for some comical relief. But before the final axe, I think he's going to get the axe. Let's talk about the thinker. I think that just his knockoff pinhead look alone is reason enough to kill him off quickly. But Peter Capaldi was the doctor in Doctor Who, so I think he might stick around for a little while and even turn on the Suicide Squad before they have to do him in. And finally, there's Mongol. While she dies at the hands of her twin brother in the comics, I think that she is a weird fit for the so I think she's a weird fit for the squad, and while her warrior skills may come in handy in certain battles, she's instead to live for the final act. So we think about my picks for the people who will live, maybe live or die, and who will die in the Suicide Squad. I'm super excited for this movie. I'm glad that we're getting a sequel to the Suicide Squad. I think they're going to be two different movies altogether. Obviously the same concept that we have the Suicide Squad going on a separate mission, but I think a different look and feel, and I'm really excited to watch it. And I think these characters that they put together are just kind of quirky and zany and just kind of make for a good misfit band of, of movie. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my choices and what are your picks for the people who think will die in the Suicide Squad. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.